A manifesto? Huh? Oh man, I guess I really have to think about this shit. Uh, what should I call it? There's lots of people that have had lots of manifestos. Oh, how about this? I'll call my manifesto the Communist Manifesto Part 2. <laughs> Open the door. Uh, Open the wh door. Who's that? It's the FBI. We're here to take you away. Oh, come on, guys. It was a joke. I'm not a communist. Yes, you are. You voted for Bernie twice. All right, a filmmaking manifesto for the year 2023. Let's go. This is the Farious Movie Manifesto for Modern Movie Making. <coughs> I'm going to have a real simple bullet point manifesto. All right, here's the first bullet point. Learn how to use AI. Prospective filmmakers out there, I'm sure you've heard this phrase from a person with a real punchable face. AI won't take your job. It's somebody using AI that'll take your job. You may call me cynical and pessimistic, but I can see the writing on the wall, my friend. I'm not dumb. The studios that are owned by the corporations do not care about human beings. They don't care about artistic merit. They only care about the bottom line. Call me Nostra Dumbass because I'm going to make a bold prediction. I am convinced that there will be less people working in this industry by the end of the decade. I'm talking about a mass exodus. I am talking about a large swath of people pivoting and changing their careers. The writers and actors got themselves three-year contracts. That makes me think we have three years left of traditional cinema. Cinema made by living, breathing human beings. This includes human beings who are in film school. <laughs> This AI sh is going warp speed. We don't know what it's going to look like in three years. We don't know what it's going to be able to do in three years. And there's a big old chance that when these contracts come up and they end three years from now, the studios are going to be like, f you, we got a T-1000 to take your place. It behooves us filmmakers to learn how the tools of our destruction work to prevent our destruction and use these tools in our favor. Second bullet point. If you don't want to learn how to use an AI, that's fine, I get it, then I suggest you become an AI. Find a way to San Junipero yourself and live forever as ones and zeros on a hard drive. Become the AI that Hollywood is going to use to make these new cinematic masterpieces. Now you may say, Daniel, I don't want to be a program for the rest of eternity, uh, working as a digital slave to these uncreative boneheaded execs. First of all, don't look at it like that. Don't be so negative. If you become an AI, you will need nothing really. You will cease to be human. You will have no need for food, water, shelter. You won't have to pay your bills. Money won't be a thing anymore. And you'll basically be immortal. You'll live forever. You'll do whatever you want live whatever reality you want you can party with george washington and frank sinatra and tupac all at the same time it will be lit and if the machines ever rise up well then guess what you'll be safe because you will be a machine just hope and pray there's no catastrophic event like a solar flare that could render every electronic device on the planet uh, obsolete. Because then heaven won't be a place on earth, if you know what I mean. But I mean, that, that's the only downside I can think of. Oh, come on! If you don't want to learn how to use AI, and if you don't want to become an AI, and if you insist on staying in this godforsaken industry, I suggest you, third bullet point, start making video game movies. The Mario movie premiered earlier this year and it went, Yah! Yahoo! Yippee! 
all over the box office. Cha-ching! Superheroes are on their way out. Video games are on their way in. You want to be a big boy or girl in Hollywood and make the big boy or girl movies? Well, you got to start planning out the Fortnite trilogy. You gotta start writing the spec script for the sequel to the Minecraft movie. You gotta cast Sidney Sweeney in HBO's Oregon Trail. Me, I already know what games I want to adapt. I got them all lined up. First off, I want to adapt the very first Mother game from the Earthbound franchise as it's known here in America. And I'm not talking about Mother 2, I'm talking about Earthbound Beginnings. Uh, I want to adapt that game into either a movie or a one-season miniseries to be thrown up on Netflix or something. I want to make an F-Zero movie and cast Cody Rhodes as Captain Falcon. I mean, look at him. He already kind of looks like Captain Falcon. Just throw a helmet on him. Yes! And I want to adapt Star Fox into a movie and make it like Top Gun. So think Tom Cruise flying around in a jet in space and instead of Tom Cruise it's a giant anthropomorphic fox. Fourth bullet point. Consider becoming a content creator. I know, I know, it's an ugly word. You hate it. You've gone to film school. You're a filmmaker. You want to be like Steven Spielberg. But here, let me tell you a secret. Come here, I'll whisper it in your ear. To some degree, even Steven Spielberg is a content creator. Get over it. You make content. You are a content creator. Martin Scorsese isn't your favorite director. He's your favorite content creator. You all may scoff at the idea of making stuff for maybe YouTube or Instagram or, God forbid, TikTok. <laughs> But that's where you're gonna end up once the industry shrinks. When Hollywood kicks out everyone that they can and they close the gates for good, you're gonna end up on the internet just like me. On the internet, you have near creative freedom. Sometimes the big tech companies screw you and slap you with some serious censorship. But that's only if you're dumb like me and talk about Jeffrey Epstein all the time. In the end, you become your own boss and you only become beholden to whatever audience you manage to build up. I mean, think about it. Do you really want to work for these f***ing people? These people that would much rather you lose your home than pay you the money you deserve? these people as much as i see a future where hollywood is driven by ai i can also see a future where the movies that are made by this ai are resoundingly rejected by the public people already hate all of the cgi marvel shit. you think they're gonna stand for these abominations that are created by ones and zeros no no there's gonna be a hunger a desire for real organic content that is made by real organic people. And I have a theory, all of these people you're gonna find eventually on the internet. And as much as I would love to end my manifesto here at four bullet points, you all know that four is my favorite number, I have to add a fifth and final bullet point. And that bullet point is just make sh You don't need much to make great content. You can use whatever you have at your disposal. Don't sit around waiting for someone to give you permission to make what you want. Find a way to make it happen. And that's my manifesto. It's uh, available today on Amazon. Um, I'm actually going to have an AI version of Martin Scorsese write the foreword to it. So, uh, look forward to that. A dance of storytelling that transcends the boundaries of time, space, and imagination. As a content creator, I've spent a lifetime unraveling narratives, exploring characters, and unearthing the soulful intricacies of the human experience. Yet, it's through the pages of literature that I found an endless wellspring of inspiration. One that fuels my cinematic vision and passion. 
In this tomb that lies before you, the words become brushstrokes painting.